area. And already it starts to look like he's actually got eyes. And you can use your fingernail too to help to help make sure the needle stays in that one location. Just be careful not to stab yourself. You have got in, in my kit two little, they're called blast eyes, but they're just made of little bits of plastic. You can use those. And that's what I used on Kevin number one over here, which is really cute. An alternative, before I stick these down, I'm just gonna show you the alternative. For anyone who's done my workshop before, you'll know how to make eyes out of black wool using the water to roll up and make peppercorns and that'll, that'll make cute little eyes. If you wanted to, and, and just use your, your pins to stick them down, lots of stabbing around that eye to stick down the little black wool peppercorn eyes. And what I've included in this kit are, are some, as I say, glass slash plastic eyes. So you'll need to use the cocktail stick included in your kit just to make a hole, or if you've got a braddle at home, you can use that. Make yourself a hole, use the cocktail stick a bit like a bit like a hammer. It just it won't want to go in at first, but once it's in, just make that hole bigger. And that should allow you to take each eye one at a time. I prefer these eyes for, for, for this dog rather than the wool eyes. And if it doesn't go in, like that one's not going for me, for whatever reason, just go back to your cocktail stick. As I say, use it like a hammer, 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 hammer. And once it's through, make the hole super big and pop your eye in with a tiny blob of either super glue or craft glue. A good way of doing this is, is to perhaps have some craft glue, so even some PVA glue, any glue, any kind of glue. Just have that to one side, dip your eye rather into, into a pool of glue that's already on the surface and then pop your eye in. Use your cocktail stick to hold it down in place just while it dries off and that'll just stop them from falling out. Um, and then of course, his neckerchief. Oh gosh, he's so cute. So I'm finding now that his head can turn as, I, as I'm starting to come to the completion. I want his head and in fact his whole body to turn a little. So I'm turning it in the direction that I want it and I can see where I need to stab. Keep playing with my fingers and my needle to get it to the exact direction that I want. And I'm sticking my thumb down in his neck and I can see that that mark that is left behind by my thumb is looking the right kind of a mark so I'm stabbing over to just make it more pronounced, make an impression of where my thumb has been because I can see that's, that's carving out some of the body, the body features and the limbs of the dog. You can spend as long or as little amount of time doing this as you like. I like to spend quite a lot of time getting getting the shape right, but you don't have to do that. It's just hard for them, for Kevin not to look great. And his next scarf. Rolling the scarf up on the back side. Leave a tiny section at the front. Once this is on, you can play around with it. And you should be able to then just use some glue to, just some regular craft glue, PVA glue, any glue would do. Super glue actually would probably be all right. Just use some glue, I'm just gonna pin it there for now, but just some glue around the inside of his neck scarf. And you can, you could put a dress pin there just while you play around with it. And then when you're happy with it and its location, you can cut the ends off. You don't need those excess ends of fabric. Alternatively, I've included in your kit a bow tie, a dicky bow. What what Kevin doesn't want a dicky bow? And same for this. Apply a bit of glue to the reverse side of the dicky bow, and then you can just position it in the right place and use your cocktail stick to hold it in position while the glue goes off and dries. And that concludes the tutorial. This is Kevin number two, friend of Kevin number one.